Have you ever looked up at a passenger jet? It seems pretty big, right? Now, imagine something far, far larger, something that makes that jet look like a toy. We are talking about an aircraft of truly epic proportions, a machine that stretches the very limits of what we thought possible in aviation. This is the story of such a giant. It was a testament to human ambition, a flying colossus that once graced our skies. Its sheer presence was enough to inspire awe. Think about the largest animal you know. This was bigger. This incredible machine wasn't just a flight of fancy. It was real. It flew. It carried immense loads across continents. Its shadow would momentarily darken the ground below. People would stop and stare, necks craned, eyes wide. How could something so massive actually leave the Earth? The physics are understandable, yet the sight remained astonishing. It challenged our everyday perceptions of size and weight. This aircraft was a true outlier, a marvel of engineering. It pushed boundaries. Why build such a behemoth? What purpose could justify its immense scale? The reasons are as fascinating as the aircraft itself. They are rooted in grand projects and specific demanding needs. The giant we speak of has a name. It is the Antonov An-225 Maria. Maria means dream in Ukrainian, a fitting name for such an aspirational machine designed by the Antonov Design Bureau in the Ukrainian SSR. During the later years of the Soviet Union, the An-225 was a tangible reality. Its existence was a statement, a statement of technological prowess and ambition. It was a unique aircraft, one of a kind. The An-225 Maria had a wingspan of 88.4 meters. That's almost 290 feet. Its length was 84 meters, or about 275 feet. It stood over 18 meters tall, like a six-story building. Its sheer physical presence was overwhelming. The weight of this Titan was equally staggering. Its empty weight was approximately 285,000 kilograms. That's 628,000 pounds, even before loading any cargo. Its maximum takeoff weight was an astounding 640,000 kilograms. That is 1.4 million pounds. This required immense power and incredibly robust construction. It was truly a heavyweight champion of the skies. To achieve flight with such mass, the Maria needed power, lots of it. The story of the An-225 Maria begins in the 1980s. It was a time of intense competition. The Cold War was still a reality. The Soviet Union and the United States were locked in a space race. Both nations pushed the boundaries of science and technology. The Soviets had an ambitious space shuttle program called Buran. This program needed a very special aircraft, an aircraft capable of transporting massive components. This was the primary reason for Maria's creation. It was born from necessity. The Buran shuttle was similar in concept to the U.S. space shuttle. However, the Buran orbiter itself did not have powerful main engines for launch. It relied on the massive Energia rocket to get into orbit. This meant the orbiter and parts of the Energia rocket needed to be transported. They had to be moved from manufacturing sites to the Baikonur Cosmodrome. These components were too large for existing transport aircraft. A new solution was required. A super-heavy airlifter was envisioned. The Antonov Design Bureau was tasked with this challenge. They had experience with large cargo planes. Their N-124 Ruslan, was already a very large aircraft. The An-225 Maria was essentially an even larger modified version of the An-124. Development was rapid. Building an aircraft as large as the An-225 Maria presented immense engineering challenges. It was not simply a matter of scaling up a smaller design. Every aspect had to be rethought and reinforced. The airframe needed to withstand incredible stresses. The materials used had to be strong yet relatively lightweight. Advanced alloys and composite materials played a crucial role. The internal structure was a complex web of spars and ribs, all designed to maintain integrity under enormous loads. It was a symphony of structural engineering. One of the most distinctive features was its landing gear. To support its immense weight, the Maria had a 32-wheel landing gear system. The main gear consisted of 14 wheels on each side, arranged in seven rows. The nose gear had four wheels. This distributed the aircraft's weight over a large area. It allowed the Maria to operate from runways that could bear its load. The landing gear also had a kneeling capability. This allowed the aircraft's nose to be lowered. This facilitated easier loading and unloading of cargo through its unique nose door. Another key design element was its twin tail. Most large cargo aircraft have a single tall vertical stabilizer. Section 5. A Titan's Task, From Space Shuttles to Global Hauler. 
The AN-225 Maria was initially conceived for a very specific role. Its primary mission was to support the Soviet Buran space program. It was designed to airlift the Buran space shuttle externally on its back. It could also carry components of the Energia rocket. The Maria performed several flights with the Buran orbiter mounted atop its fuselage. These were impressive sights, a testament to the engineering vision behind both a reusable spacecraft and its carrier. This was its original, highly specialized purpose, a purpose tied to ambitions beyond Earth. However, geopolitical shifts dramatically altered Maria's destiny. With the end of the Cold War and the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the Buran program lost its funding. It was eventually cancelled in the early 1990s. This left the AN-225 without its primary mission. For a period, the magnificent aircraft was grounded. It sat in storage, its future uncertain. The dream seemed to be fading. It was a giant without a job, a powerful tool waiting for a new purpose. Many thought its flying days were over, but the story of Maria was not over. In the late 1990s, a decision was made to refurbish the aircraft. Section 6. Touching the Sky Records and Remarkable Feats the Antonov N-225. Maria was not just big, it was a record-breaker. Throughout its operational life, it set numerous world records. These records solidified its status as an aviation legend. Its sheer size and power allowed it to achieve feats previously thought impossible. In March 1989, even before its commercial career, it set 110 world records in a single flight. This was a demonstration of its incredible capabilities, it was a clear signal of its potential. The world of aviation took notice. One of its most notable records was for airlifting the heaviest single-piece cargo item. In August 2009, the Maria transported a generator for a gas power plant in Armenia. This generator, along with its loading frame, weighed 189.98 metric tons. Imagine lifting the equivalent of nearly 100 large cars at once. This was a monumental task, perfectly suited for the Maria. No other aircraft in history had carried such a heavy individual item. This record still stands. The Maria also held the record for the total airlifted payload. In September 2001 it carried five main battle tanks. Section 7. The People's Giant More Than Just An Aircraft The AN-225 Maria transcended its role as a mere machine. It captured the imagination of people worldwide. It became an icon, a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition. Its appearances at airshows were legendary. Crowds would gather, sometimes numbering in the hundreds of thousands. They came just to catch a glimpse of this magnificent aircraft. There was a certain magic to seeing it, a sense of wonder that few other man-made objects could evoke. It was, in many ways, the people's giant. Pilots who flew the Maria often spoke of it with a mixture of respect and affection. Commanding such a colossal aircraft was a unique responsibility. It required immense skill and teamwork. The flight deck, with its array of instruments and controls, was their office. From there, they guided this gentle giant across oceans and continents. They were the custodians of a dream. Their stories and experiences added a human dimension to the Maria's legend. They were part of its living history. One interesting fact is its Ukrainian name, Maria, meaning, dream. Section 8. An Enduring Legend. Maria's Imprint on Aviation History. The Antonov on 225. Maria was more than just the largest aircraft ever built. It was a landmark in aviation history. Its existence pushed the boundaries of aerospace engineering. It inspired generations of engineers and designers. The Maria showed that audacious dreams could take flight. Its legacy is one of innovation. It moved critical infrastructure across the globe. It played a role in disaster relief efforts. Its unique capabilities filled a vital gap in global logistics. Even though the original Maria is gone, its story continues to resonate. It reminds us of the heights of human achievement. 